Empowerment. Empowered is one of many words I use when it comes to describing how authors feel after working with me and the Path to Publishing team. Empowered. How they feel after having had literary consulting, coaching, taken one of our courses, workshops, read our curriculum, or attended one of our conferences. Empowered. Motivated, yes, perhaps. Confident, encouraged, inspired, educated, incited, equipped, courageous even. All words that could be used to describe their feelings. But if I had to choose only one word, Empowered. Empowerment is like a movement. And speaking of movement, an organization I belong to called the Diva Movement sent out a newsletter that had an article titled, Eight Ways to Empower Someone Else. And in that newsletter, it stated that the dictionary defines empower as to give someone the authority or power to do something. Or as I like to say, to give someone the ammunition. You already have the power. You already came. You already showed up with power. A gun is already powerful, but the bullet empowers it. Another definition was to make someone stronger, or as I like to say, to strengthen someone, to add strength. You're already strong. You came strong. You showed up strong. You already have the strength to get here. You already pressed to get here. You pushed to get here. Some of you pushed through financial challenges, some of you push through emotional challenges. Some of you push through physical challenges. Loss, death, a couple of pathfinders even put off having surgery to be here. So you already had power, you already had strength. But let me get back to Webster's definition. To make someone stronger and more confident, especially in controlling their rights. Controlling their rights. I would say including the rights of their intellectual property. Their thoughts, their ideas, their concepts, their stories, their testimonies, their messages. And that's exactly what the Act Like an Author, Think Like a Business Annual Conference is all about. Empowering every last one of you to make your mark in the literary industry. The information, tools, tips, strategies, systems, options, resources, and techniques you've been equipped with has empowered you. It has given you the authority and expertise to make a major contribution to the literary community, a major contribution to the literary arts, a major contribution to the business community, your community, the world as a whole. Allow this conference, and I say allow, to give permission, grant, enable, Enable this conference to give you the confidence and the courage. Confidence and the courage. Because sometimes confidence alone isn't enough. 
It takes courage to do that of which you are confident in. But allow this conference to give you the confidence and the courage to take control of your intellectual property and claim your right in this industry, in this world, leaving a legacy for your family, for all of us. You being here, whether you knew it or not, isn't solely about learning, writing, publishing, literary, and the book business. It's about equipping you with power, empowering you to write, empowering you to publish, and to walk, to walk in literary excellence and greatness. We've done our job, myself, the conference expert, presenters, panelists, we've done our job. We've made our free throws. We have hit our three-pointers. We have played defense. We have played offense. We've gone hard in the paint. So now we pass the ball to you. Through our teachings, instruction, and the experiences and expertise we share with you, we've empowered you to write, publish, and build a literary career, a literary business, a literary legacy, and a literary empire, if you so choose, because the choice is yours. We've handed you the ball, which is the tools and resources to walk in literary excellence and greatness. In closing, I say, the ball is not only in your court, it's in your hands. Don't only walk in literary excellence and greatness, run. Run to the basket, take the shot, and win. Thank you.